So today we're going to be taking a look at a scenario where the Mongol Empire returns to the modern day. So what if the Mongol Empire came back? Well, the Mongol Empire is the largest empire in history. And I think a lot of people really underestimate how large this thing was because this is a good percentage of the world. It spans all the way from South Korea over to Finland. And yeah, you really just there really wasn't much you could do against this back in the day. So that's why it got so big. On top of that, you know, there was a plague going around, but the Mongol Empire, it's fascinating how big it was. But what if this empire came back? Well, today we're gonna be looking at a scenario where that happened. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. All the support is greatly appreciated and it helps our channel grow. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight into the scenario. All right, so the Mongol Empire, the largest empire in history. And here we have a rough estimate of where it was. Now, this is where it peaked at, and I think it's 1279 and right after this happened it collapsed into a million pieces but we're going to be ignoring how unstable this would be and we're just going to pretend that it is as stable as possible also world organizations have been disabled so no nato no eu no un and the mongols most likely have modern technology taking over russia maybe not modern maybe like 1980s but they do have it with china so they also have all of china this is going to be a pretty scary country or i guess mass if you want to call it that i don't know if they're on horseback still but we're about to find out because they're about to do some expanding first off though there are some areas that we need to address now the mongol empire wiped out a lot of everything and there's some specific countries here that got screwed over like iraq is hurting but they're they might be fine i don't want to say they're probably fine but they might be fine turkey is okay romania has seen better days uh what is a belarus and what is a ukraine we don't know these two areas immediately collapse and get annexed by poland and additionally poland is going to go ahead and steal kaliningrad from the russians speaking of the russians they collapse you can't really govern this because it's all frozen and there's nobody there so in the meantime we have karelia breaking off from russia forming its own country with the cola so for now we have karelia breaking off from russia and forming a new country with cola finland is going to go ahead and make some land gains only a little bit though the ball Politics will get a little bit and the rest is Mongolian lovely Japan is also going to go ahead and get their claims back in the Sakhalin area and these islands I keep forgetting the name of Corelli no that's not right I was close I I don't know why it says Corelli but Corel same thing right anyway uh with basically all the territories that were affected by the Mongol Empire gone uh the Mongols are going to start doing Mongol things this time with their new technology and their new understanding of the world and how it's advanced they're going to set a new target on the Middle East in order to get them some oil and uh they're not wasting any time here they're going full force they don't care about doing one at a time they're going to do all all at a time so first they understand the strategical advantage of knocking off countries from the water and they take out kuwait speaking of water they're going to go ahead and aim for the mediterranean sea as they take out syria lebanon and get down to israel who's going to attempt to fire their nukes off however they fail and they die along with palestine they're there too from here with the more powerful countries out of the war these other countries stand no chance as they fall and collapse over to the mongol empire and uh, yeah the mongol empire has a philosophy of what's mine is mine and what's mine is mine so no country is left alone they all get annexed into one but this is going to go ahead and trigger a chain reaction over here in the arab world as all of these countries are going to collectively agree to unite together in order to not die to the mongol empire yeah that's right we're getting a little bit of a cameo here from the islamic empire but they're back not every country country joined it because morocco and mauritania were like you know what we're probably good over here uh we'll see about that yeah a majority of the arab countries or islamic countries have joined this and this is going to go ahead and stall i almost called them macaroni this is going to stall the mongols advances and they're instead going to go for someone else oh any mini mining about india in a weird new manner uh pakistan seemingly has disappeared overnight however india is still there and mongolia has just challenged them to a 1v1 in fortnite unfortunately for india they never learned how to crank 90s as the mongols are simply too goaded the Himalayas do serve as a pretty good shield, but eventually we have India getting knocked as they lose their capital. Seemingly nobody wants to get the res as they are killed down and their reboot card is dropped. How do you guys like my Fortnite knowledge? Yeah, I used to play that game a lot. Anyway, India just got slapped around and now the entire world is on alert because India is a very strong country and you don't want to mess with it, but uh, they just got messed with pretty bad. Also, remember what I said about the Mongols? Yeah, well, India's gone. Speaking of the Mongols, they don't really declare war. They just kind of do what they want to do. And what they want to do now is invade Southeast Asia. Now, Myanmar, poor Myanmar they don't stand a chance neither does really any of these countries Bangladesh is essentially just I'm just, it's just stepped on we have an invasion of Thailand all going all the way down here to the Strait of Malacca which is taken but the Mongols do encounter some issues in Vietnam as they're on 
not able to invade and penetrate into the jungle areas of the country but yeah the mongols are going to go ahead and get their claims but they're still technically at war with vietnam and co just uh, can't get in there it's a little too challenging all right well asia has seemingly been conquered by the mongols and it's only been a couple of months since they re-emerged but it's uh it's important to note here that they still don't really understand the whole boat thing doesn't make sense you know they tried to invade japan twice and failed twice uh they're trying to do it again but they just can't get the boats to work it's like water and oil they just don't mix together well so uh the pacific area you're good for now but if they start to figure out how to work planes you might be in trouble anyway now um there's only really one way to turn and that's to europe i mean you could go ham on the islamic empire but you probably don't want to do that just yet but europe's here in europe is they're trying to take a peaceful approach to this you know they're sending diplomats all the way over here and uh, if you know anything about travel this is a very long distance and you, it takes a while to get there so before their diplomats even get there the mongols are already on the border and europe is in trubel this event is seemingly catastrophic and it's going to cause something oh that's right the Roman Empire is back. This is the biggest cameo, biggest crossover in Ada's Pro history. Uh, what is the cinematic Ada's Pro Cinematic Universe ACU? It doesn't get much better than this. The Mongol Empire, the Roman Empire, the Islamic Empire. What else are we gonna get? The Spanish Empire? Nope, because that's the Roman Empire. Where was there other empires? The, the British Empire. Yeah, let's let's bring that back too. Now, but for real though, these Southern European countries here are going to unite together into basically just the Roman Empire. The Northern European countries are still trying to take that peaceful approach, as we know the mongols are coming so that didn't work but they have their sights set on eastern europe all right so first of all we have the mongol uh the, the mongol states well i mean that's what they are now but the baltic states they are gone poland just can't get a break as they are sovieted and finland is going to fight a very fierce war against the mongols the only country that could do so i mean i guess also vietnam could as well but now the mongols are um well they have to go up against the romans now but before we do that we have a side quest war taking place ah uh, the german barbarians the germanic barbarians Barbarians, that they they want some this event is going to cause a schism in the roman empire we now have a new religion forming which is the uh the same thing as this one but a little bit different it's also called anti-mongolism a little bit racist maybe but who would have guessed anyway germany specifically the barbaric germans the, also known as bavarians they're going to go ahead and they're going to do barbarian things they're going to get rome and at this point boopity boopity bop the romans are gone uh tunisia might have had something to do with it who knows but at this point the third reich has made an appearance that everybody's here literally everybody they're gonna go ahead and take out the lowland countries invade denmark in around six ish hours that's right danish people i'm never letting that down and norway is gonna flop over everyone is here everyone we have the mongols we have the islamic empire we have the fourth reich we have the eastern roman empire what's next the swiss empire nope because that never existed anyway the mongols don't really believe in religion and they wipe out the eastern roman empire the germans are going to attempt to launch an attack against the mongols and at first it goes fairly well that is until the winter sets in and their logistics start to fail and the mongols are coming crashing back down eventually we have the capturing of berlin not that that really matters anymore because this empire is huge but after the mongols reach paris it's about jover for europe norway is safe for now so now we have the islamic empire here they're going to try to dar islam as best as they can and unfortunately for them they're not going to get as far as they did the first time because a mongolian man who's probably shirtless and riding on a horse with a machine gun in his hand is um it's a lot to take in and uh, it's very hard to fight against so with that being said goodbye to that also let's just i mean let's well, let's face it africa is not going to be able to fight out the mongols and now the mongols are at their peak they can't beat finland no matter what they can't beat vietnam because they have a skill issue so what do they do can't go to america because you know the only way to get over there would be by boat they can't do that they have we'd have to wait for another ice age so they can cross the bering strait can't get to the british unless you bring back doggerland you cannot get up here because finland is blocking you you might be able to swim across here there's there might be a bridge there as well but the swedes probably blew it up um let's see here this this is pretty close you might be able to get to sri lanka if you swim hard enough this is all out of the question this is definitely all out of the question but let's face it if the mongol empire actually did come back they would be pretty unstoppable they'd also possess a very large arsenal of nuclear weapons in china north korea india pakistan well they wouldn't have india at first but they would have pakistan or most of it iran might have some stuff for them and yeah also russia so they would have a lot of nuclear bombs but if this really did happen and came back and it started to expand there's nobody here it's literally just like the mongol government and that's it so you can like blow this place up with a bunch of nukes and it would be a very low casualty rate so yeah uh let's be realistic here it would fireworks basically happy 4th of july by the way even though you're seeing this on july 5th but i think the mongols have something they want to reveal to us and if it isn't august already this is the soviet union not the mongol empire what the mongol empire died like a long time ago but the soviets that that was not too long ago that was like what 30 years ago no yeah 
ish. In this case, they're definitely getting a handful of Uncle Sam BAMs, aka American nukes. But anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Obviously, this wasn't a serious video like my other videos are, but sometimes it's you just you can't be serious all the time. You have to have some fun with this sometimes. And this is also just my way of having fun with mapping because if you remember not too long ago, I said the mapping really isn't fun anymore, and it still really isn't, except for like the alternate future series. I don't know why, but that's like the only kind of mapping I really, 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 really enjoy. Age of History, that's a fun game. I just, it was not fun for me in that video that I just did towards the end. I mean, at the, at the beginning, it was fun, but whew, so it can make you mad if you don't have a lot of patience. But once again, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to show some support. All that is greatly appreciated. Check out the description because I updated it. It's a little bit different now. It's basically the exact same, but it's a little bit different. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I don't think there's anything else to say. Did I say happy July 4th yet? Happy July 4th. Is there any other holidays coming up? Am I missing any holidays? Looks like there aren't any holidays in July. So uh, I guess happy vacation day to me on the 15th or something. That's a new holiday i want to call up joe biden and make it official but yeah see you guys in the next video and of course thank you to all the super fans this includes patrick clauser yo moma moma texan cowboy cheese kylie speaks plays poland country ball dimitri dw cool dude nevada garbage trucks yakko soviet ball and serminator once again thank you guys